If you love the Broken Sword series or spooky ghost stories set in haunted mansions then this is the game for you. This is Foolish Mortals by Inklingwood Studios and it's due to be released in 2023. The demo for this released on Monday this week along with a Kickstarter campaign that was so successful that it was fully funded within 24 hours and I've been unbelievably excited to show you this from that moment on so let's see what it's all about. Here we go, new game. I've heard such good things about this from pretty much everyone I've spoken to, so I'm unbelievably excited to get into this. The trailer was brilliant. It looks like it's going to be a real gem in the adventure game world. Really enjoying the music so far. Definitely looks like it's got a spooky voodoo vibe to it as well, doesn't it? It's a very dramatic opening, I've got to say. Nice bit of harpsichord, you can never go wrong with harpsichord. <laughs> I wonder why there's no face on that. That's interesting. Uh oh. <laughs> that doesn't look good, does it? Ooh, what's in there? Looks like... Is that a bag? Or is it a... I, I don't know what that is. Guess it will make sense in the full game. Oh, I love the way the stars are glistening there. That's really cool. There's a treasure on the island. Its location known only by the dead. I could see it in my dreams. How was I supposed to know that in order to find it, I'd have to die too? Oh, that sounds very ominous. Look at the art. This is stunning. God, I love it already. It looks so nice. Spirits and spectres from regions unknown guide to me the wanderer who searches alone. <laughs> well, welcome back, Murphy McAllen. Have you found all five ingredients for the spell? Have we? I found three so far. Only two are left. The chalk and the coffin nails. Hurry. The island will lead you to that which you seek. I have no doubt about that. Voice acting is very good as well. How will the spell help me find the lost treasure of Belmore Manor? How will the spell help me find the lost treasure of Belmore Manor? There are things on this island that have gone unseen. Stories that have been left unheard. At least the mortals. Mm. I commune with regions beyond. Let me introduce you to a friend. Okay. Is the friend scary? Out of the shadows, the cursed and the damned. Return now, my servant, to do my command. Oh God! Okay. Well, he's not messing around then. Return to you, master. Loa, this gentleman wishes to find the lost treasure of Belmore Manor. Tell him how this can be done. Only inhabitants of the house know where the treasure lies. Their spirits still within its walls, trapped between life and death. Mm. To ask them, those spirits must be revealed on the mortal plane. How do we do that? that is what our spell will do, Murphy. Ah. Summon and spell to unveil the ghost trapped within the house. Sounds scary. Five ingredients, 
place inside, tie closed and then unseal. Within the focus what may hide, this spell will soon reveal. Once you've collected all five, we can summon the ghosts of Belmore Manor. Once we've summoned the ghosts, we can ask them exactly where the treasure was hidden. You have served me, Loa. Be gone! And what's your gain in this situation, Voodoo Man? Huh. I, I don't get what he gets out of this arrangement. Who's the creature that you talk to? Who is the creature that you talk to? That is my Loa. The Loa are the mysteries, the invisibles, the messengers. Is it a ghost? No. They are the intermediaries between humans and the supernatural. Right. There are two planes of existence, Murphy. The mortal plane and the spirit plane. Lowers can move between them both. And with my powers, I can control them when they do. That is what we practitioners of the occult are adept at. Fair, okay. Do you know what happened at Belmore Manor? Do you know what happened at Belmore Manor? You want to hear a ghost story, Murphy? Yeah, why not? It's spooky season. I want to know everything I can about that house. It's October. We'll indulge him. Ooh. Dark magic runs throughout Belmore Manor. Whoa, that... Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. Belmore brothers. Three merchants from England who made their fortune trading across the Caribbean. Xavier Belmore, an explorer. Yardley Belmore, an actor. And Very Cecil different. Cecil Belmore, a scientist. Okay. Their parents dead for many years. They each loved and cared for their young sister, Abigail. Abigail met a young sailor who worked aboard one of her brother's ships. And in less than a year, he proposed. The engagement was a scandal. Oh no. Despite having the pick of any eligible bachelor in high society, her hand and the Belmore fortune was to go to a common. Oh, okay. <laughs> because of their unconditional love for the young sister, the Belmore brothers sanctioned the marriage. But people began to wonder if Abigail was being locked into marriage, whether by blackmail or Black magic. Red wedding was planned by the three proud brothers, but in the months leading up to the wedding, each of the brothers, one by one, was lost. Ooh. Okay. And yet the wedding was still to go ahead. And with Abigail set to inherit the Belmore fortune once she came of age, many people began to wonder. Whether the sailor was not a perpetrator, but a pawn. On the morning of the wedding, the sailor was summoned to her chambers. I don't love you, Abigail declared. I never loved you. And to everyone gathered in the house, Abigail declared that that same evening, she would marry another. What? John Rackham, first officer of the Belmore Trading Company. Would be a new groom. Suspicious. Except that didn't happen. On the night of the wedding, everyone in the house suddenly and mysteriously vanished. Wow. Perhaps the last revenge of the scorned sailor. Yeah, or maybe the brothers. The house that night held a heart that would be broken, a victim who would be tricked, and a force. That would unleash evil. Wow. No one knows exactly who each was. If you want to find the treasure, Murphy, you'll have to find out. Wow. This is fantastic. Wow, the story, the backstory is so good. The animation, the music, everything. Wow. Okay, how am I going to find the spell ingredients? How am I going to find the spell ingredients? Everything I've ever needed for my voodoo spells, I have found on this island. It's as though this island pulls the supernatural to it. Keep searching. 
Once that's complete, I will show you the final step of the spell. Okay, so uh, ingredients it is. Um, how did you learn voodoo? How did you learn voodoo? I've always been adept with the mystic arts. Just as you dream of treasure, Murphy, I dream of power. I came to Devil's Rock many years ago, drawn by its voodoo energy. And no sooner than I arrived, the spirit world began to reveal itself to me, pleading for me to be its master. Okay, well, why is the island such a focus of voodoo energy then? Why is this island such a focus of voodoo energy? I suspect the answer to that question already lies in what you're seeking. Okay, what's this riverboat we're aboard? What's this riverboat we're aboard? This is the Spirit Queen. It used to be a pleasure boat. Plying the rivers around the island. A den of drinking and gambling. That's how I came to own the boat. A lucky game of chance. Okay. Me, it's a lot easier to win. You have spirits to control the roll of the die. I was going to say, there must have been something it funny going like on. Cheated. Faith was always going to bring this boat to me. I just hurried it along. Yeah, I bet you did. I'm going to finish finding the voodoo ingredients. I'm going to finish finding the voodoo ingredients. Hurry back. Oh, we will. Don't you worry. Okay, so we can't look around in. <gasps> Part one, the summoning spell. Very Monkey Island, that, with the little, um... The screen. Hey, look, it's a fish. I took the taxidermied fish from the rotting wooden frame. Nice. Okay. This is so cool. I love the lighting and everything. Look at the look at the, the sort of glow around that and the atmosphere it gives off. It's fantastic. There's a crane here with a sack. Okay, so our inventory's up here. Wow, we've got a lot of things already. Okay. Not sure what we would do with that necessarily. Uh, nothing up here. What's all this? So we've got the fish, we've got an empty bottle, a manuscript, uh, and some other bits and pieces. Dockmaster. Anyone in? I jiggled the handle, but the door was locked. No, it's locked. Okay. With a bit of elbow grease, I pushed up the wooden window frame. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I guess we're going in. Pressed against the inside wall was a dusty desk covered in spider webs, and on top of it, one thing lay undisturbed. A small folded document, which I picked up, along with an unintentional eight-legged companion. <laughs> Ugh! Spider bro! Ghost stories and haunted treasures I could handle, but spiders gave me the creeps. Nah, spiders are cool! Okay, let's have a look at that if we can. How, how do we look? Right, Oh, wow! <laughs> that is so detailed! Captain's license. License issued by the Department of Commerce and Labor, 1910. Okay, John Bennett. Okay. There's no picture. It was a riverboat captain's license for a Captain John Bennett, but the space for a photograph was empty. Okay, could we potentially put our own photo on there it then? It was the taxidermied fish I'd taken from the riverboat, with a ripped seam opening up to the stuffing inside of it. Okay, can we... I couldn't do that. No, there's an empty bottle. It was an empty soda bottle that I'd found on the beach. Okay, we already found that. There's a manuscript here. Five ingredients, place inside, tie closed, and then unseal. Okay, so the rum, the feathers, the chalk, the coffin nails. It was a crumbling rock of chalk. So we need that, and we need the coffin nails. nails. Once used to seal up a coffin. Okay, so it looks like we have the other bits and pieces, though. So... Uh, we can go to the island. Okay, yeah, let's go to the island. Let's see what the island's about. Oh, again, very monkey island this. I love it. Uh, okay, so all these, that, they, these areas are not accessible in the demo, but some of these are. Let's just go to the nearest one. Ooh, okay. Got to be able to get coffin nails here, right? We must be able to get coffin nails here. The tin was empty. Okay, it's an empty tin. An antique stove burned quietly in the corner of the tumble-down shack. 
Uh, the rough-looking coffin lay unceremoniously on the rickety table. Yeah, okay. Uh, looks like we can mess around with this. Oh, we can just steal it, okay. Uh, can we do anything to the table? With the jack removed, the table rocked freely. Okay, do we want the table to the do that? The coffin sat upon a rickety-looking table. With one leg shorter than the others. I guess maybe we do. Uh, can we talk to the grave digger? Hello. Ah, concern it. Don't sneak up on people like that. You frighten the dying daylights out of me. <laughs> he looked at me like he'd seen a ghost. Sorry, you seem a little jumpy. I thought you were those pesky kids again. Kids don't seem like a reason to be scared. They're little terrors. I'm sure they're gonna give me a heart attack. Last week, they showed up with a doctor's note they forged. Seeing a man I'd buried that day was just a very deep sleeper. Seven hours I was out here. Whoa. <laughs> At my age. All right, was mate. Sleeping? Dead as a dodo. Just like those kids will be if I get my hands on them. Okay. Uh, my name's Murphy McCallan. I've just arrived on the island. My name's Murphy McCallan. I've just arrived on the island. Well... Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Thank you. I'm Edgar Kettle. Grave digger, undertaker, coffin maker, and anything else that needs doing to keep this cemetery running. Uh, has the cemetery been here long? Has the cemetery been here long? This cemetery is the whole reason Devil's Rock is populated. Back when the mainland was first settled, they used to ship off the bodies of undesirables to be buried here. Right. The criminals and paupers. St. Juniper's church up on the hill was one of the first structures here, along with the fort. So that's what this place became. A cemetery island. A place where only Beelzebub himself would take the bodies that were interred into its caves and tunnels. The Devil's Rock. Creepy. Very creepy. Uh, I'm looking for the treasure of Belmore Manor. I'm looking for the treasure of Belmore Manor. Another treasure hunter. Well, let me tell you something, young man. Don't even think about digging up my graveyard. I won't. There's no treasure buried here, and I'm already busy enough filling in the holes that are meant to be here. <laughs> Fine. Uh, have you got any spare coffin nails? Have you got any spare coffin nails? No, I don't got any to spare. I have to buy these out of my own pocket. Do you know how much the parish gives me per burial nowadays? Not a clue. A pittance. A pittance. The roof's leaking, my table's broken, I've used floorboards to build some of the coffins. Wow. Take my advice. Don't go into this line of work. I'm telling you, undertaking's a dying business. Ah, oh, well, that's a shame for you. Um, have you ever accidentally buried someone who was still alive? Have you ever accidentally buried someone who was still alive? Not that I know of. When you think about it, how would I know? <laughs> Shout for help? Desperate shaking of the coffin? Look, I haven't sealed anyone up who was chatting away with me, let's put it that way. <laughs> Fuck, okay. I usually check for signs of life, but everyone takes shortcuts sometimes, don't they? <laughs> I deserve some rest in peace, too. Uh, yeah, so there are caves and tunnels on the island. This guy's a... Interesting character, isn't so there he? There are caves and tunnels on the island. Oh yes, all over it. Some natural, some man-made. No one knows where they really are, though. I'm quite surprised I've yet to dig myself down into one. They say there's one that runs from the church to the crypt just down the path. An old escape route. Ah. But I've never been in there. Maybe we should go in there. Interesting. Well, I best be running best along be running for now. Along. Don't drop dead. I don't want anything else added to my 
Nice. All right, then, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it here because I want you guys to go and download this and play it for yourself. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below the video and also a link to the Kickstarter campaign. As I said, it's fully funded, but if you feel like backing this to help it get to some of the stretch goals, then check that out down below. And, uh, yeah, see if, if you're interested. Uh, but we'll leave it there. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.